Hey, Odessa, so, uh, I don't really want to freak you out or anything, but, uh, where the hell are we? I mean, let's be honest, it's not every day that you have water in the sky. Better question is, why are we on a random couch on a random ship in the middle of the ocean? You know something, Odessa, and you're gonna tell me. Exactly. Wait, what? Since when did you get balls of steel? I am so cutting that out. <laughs> Alright, Odessa, we have to find a way off this ship. Follow me. I take it back, Odessa, help, I can't swim! Okay, well that obviously didn't work, so now I want to know what map is this? I don't even know what... Oh yeah, it's flat grass. This is just one of the many things you can do with this mod. Believe it or not, we're on flat grass right now. You might think that we're on some special ship map. I don't even know what's up with the whole skybox. But if we go ahead and delete everything, I will prove to you we were on flat grass that entire time. And what we had were simply props. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another mini mod showcase. I don't even know how I'm going to do that transition. But today we're going to be taking a look at the water prop mod. It's going to be a mod that has animated water props that you can use in pretty much any map. I mean, they're really just props. You go into the prop section. We usually don't do showcases on props, but these are just cool enough. By the way, you can take a look at that Call of Duty ship right here. We can actually go ahead and move this around. But this does kind of go hand in hand with the Resizer mod, which is something that we're definitely going to take a look at as well. All you have to do is, well, just click on the tool, and then you can adjust the different parameters. We can make it bigger on the Z-axis. That was actually everything. We can move everything at once to make it smaller or bigger. We're going to actually go really dinky for this. Aw, oh, look at that. It's a little baby ship. Now, the thing about this ship that made it really hard to do anything on is that the actual, like, area that it takes up... In fact, we can see that hasn't changed. This shadow, that's actually from the ship. And if we no-clip, well, I'm stuck. Because I'm actually in the ship, even though it appears smaller. So the same thing should happen when we make it too big. So, making it big, this thing is now going to be scary big. Like, <laughs> like Noah size from One Piece. Okay, maybe not that big. But we can see it's so big that our view distance won't even fully render the whole thing. Which is kind of ridiculous. What happens when we crank it all the way up? Well, it's a little bit too big for flat grass. All right, but we're not here to take a look at the Call of Duty ship. We're here to look at the animated water. So you have a few different options. You have this one, which by the way, you can totally stand on. So if you want to be Jesus, hey, I'm just saying. And we can see the animation looks beautiful. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is extracted from a actual ship map, which um, will be in the description of the mod. But this looks really good. Like it, it actually looks like water. But of course, it doesn't look all that realistic just floating in, well, nothing. So we're going to actually increase the size of this by like a hundredfold, and it's not looking good. So I wouldn't recommend making this particular one max size, but I don't think anyone expects you to. Um, in fact, we can see it looks a little bit more glitchy the bigger you make it. There we go. Uh, well, maybe not. But no worries, because we have many other options. The second option we got is this, which is kind of just a bigger version. Yeah, it's pretty much the bigger version. The waves look a little bit more gnarly, uh, I guess is one way to put it. Let's go ahead and make it bigger. It's still a little glitchy, so for these ones, you don't want to go too crazy with the size. Maybe even just spawn multiples in. So probably wouldn't mess with the resizer, because yeah, it is a little jank. But what about the third option? The third option is going to be just a big flat plane of relatively still water. So we can see that the water is still moving, but at a very slow snail's pace. There's not really a whole lot of animation to this. So this is like calm water, and this is going to be the best one, in my opinion, to really resize. If we actually go ahead and do that, we can see that we can fill pretty much the entirety of flat grass easy with just one single prop. Landing on it, we can see, yeah, it looks kind of like water. Now the final option though, is in my opinion the best one, because it covers a large area and it is beautifully animated. This is going to be one that you definitely do want to increase and when you do go full send, well, this is what can sometimes cause the skybox effect, which looks really nutty by the way, because it looks like the water is right above your head, but when you rise up, you never touch it because it's obviously all the way up in the skybox. So what if we spawned in multiples of these? Well, you can go actually pretty crazy with this. For some reason, it is not appearing in the skybox. But we can have layer upon layer upon layer. We can even go to the skybox if we really want and put this in there. It's definitely kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie, but it's a lot of fun to mess with. And you can do things like what I did, which is 
well, obviously, putting a ship on it and really making it look like it's part of a map. Also, it's so weird when you go through all the layers, it's like you're going through like Neptune or something, just sinking all the way to the core. Definitely not a super big mod, but I did want to do a video on it because I've been seeing it all over the workshop and oh, it was killing me. Like I wanted to think of so many ways to incorporate this, but I don't usually do props, so it was really difficult for me. However, I do want to know, can we go even further beyond? Oh, is this actually going to work? Oh my god. I don't think the video's over just yet. Okay, what if we go to... Alright guys, I'm gonna go really nuts with this. We're gonna go to 100. Is this actually gonna work? Oh. Oh, I think it worked. Oh, man. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so now we're pretty much in Glitchtopia. Look at all this weird, like, glitchy-looking water. It's it's so weird because, like, some of the waves are going so fast. All right, so now we are obviously in the skybox. You know what? I never realized, like, why don't we just hang out in the skybox sometimes? It's actually pretty dang big. But we're not here to mess around. We're here to really mess around. So now we... We have made something, well, horrifying. Let's go up to the top here and let's see what this... This is what I'm saying. You see this? Look at that. It's like... <laughs> it's so trippy. It's like it's right above my head. But I rise? Oh, wait, what? So the thing about the skybox that's always so strange is that objects can seem so close, yet so far away at the same time. Like, check this out. It's like I'm just about to touch this water. In fact, right here, we technically go through it, but we don't touch it because it's not even in the map. So yeah, if you guys ever have nightmares of like being submerged under a giant ocean going at breakneck speed, this is the mod to kind of recreate that. It almost feels like a fever dream. But I'd love to know what you guys think about this cool animated water mod. It's really easy to set up and you can make some pretty cool scenarios with it. Let me know how you would use it down below in the comments. As always though, suggest a mod that you want to see in the next video. Wait, why did it get dark? Wait, why is this sinking? Well then, wait, this is going to go into the skybox. All right, I want to see if this is actually in this. Oh my god. <laughs> that isn't scary at all. But let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, well, thanks for watching, and farewell.